Okay, walking through a Joomla 1.5 installation is pretty easy. The first screen is the language screen. We pick our language and hit next. The next screen is a pre-installation check. And what this does, it checks to make sure that your web server environment is configured in a way that will work with a Joomla installation. So it goes through and checks your PHP version, you can see here, if your configuration.php file is writable, and if you see yeses along here, then you're good. But you can see here it tells you, it warns you, if any of these items are not supported, mark no, then the web server environment that you're in will not work for this installation. So for instance, if we had Apache installed, right, but not MySQL, and PHP, right, if they were not installed or we had the wrong version or a version that was not supported, we would see some no's here and, and we would not be able to continue really with installing and getting a Joomla website to work. So it's very important that when you purchase a web host, like let's say GoDaddy or one of those places, that you find out ahead of time, does the web host, let's say it's a, a, a GoDaddy or like the one I use, Penguin Web Hosting, you need to make sure that they support Joomla or WordPress websites. All right, and you can see these recommended settings down here. I've got a couple that are red marked. You can see these. Are, this is on, and this is on. And the preference, the recommended setting, is to have those off. But over here in this bottom area, this is not a deal breaker for whether the site will work or not work. So this is fine. Now, if you can. If you have the ability to make adjustments to your web server, then you can do that and then you can click the check again button. But it looks like with this WAMP server installation that we're running, we're all good and all we have to do is click next. I will accept the license agreement. You can see here I need to scroll through and read the license agreement. And I'll just hit next. And this is the most important screen. This is where you set up the database configuration. Remember that every content management system, or for instance, Joomla and uh, WordPress, for example, need to work with a MySQL database. So you can choose here the type of MySQL database. So I've got MySQL. The host name is usually going to be localhost. And you can see here it says this is usually localhost. And then the username, in this case, we have an install that we're running right off this local system, so the username is root. Once again, if you have a public web host like a GoDaddy or a Bluehost or a DreamHost or one of those um, hosts, your username is not going to be root. Now, password, we do not have a password on the root user on the local WAMP server system, so we don't need to put in a password. But what we will need to do is put in the database name. So I'm going to put in site one underscore db because that's the name of the database that I'm going to use. Now, advanced settings. We do not have a previous installation that we're working with, so we're not going to have to worry about these advanced settings. We'll click next, and if there's any problem connecting to the database, this is where you'll find out. And if you cannot connect to the database, you'll get a warning and it'll say, not able to connect to database, right? But we're met with the FTP configuration line, and so everything worked out well. Now, you do not need to configure your FTP settings or the advanced settings for the FTP connection, so I'm going to leave it alone. In most cases, you will not need to configure this at the outset. And if you do want to work with FTP and have that set up here, you can configure it later. I'll hit next, and this is where you'll give it the site name. So I'll say site one, and I'll put a capital J, 1.5. So this is going to be my site one, Joomla 1.5. And this part is important, the admin email and password. To manage, once we have this configuration finished, the way you're going to manage and work with your Joomla or WordPress website is going to be from the administrative back end through a browser interface. And that browser interface is password protected and it's going to need a password. So you'll put in your password here. 
and so I'm going to put in my password here and my email address so you could put in your email address here all right so I'll put in my email address here and then the next part this is an interesting part sample data now if you just go ahead and click next and then finish the installation you'll end up with a very empty initial Joomla installation but if you click install sample data it will install a bunch of sample menus and web pages and basically default data that will be useful in kind of getting up and running and beginning learning about how to work with a Joomla website so I recommend the first time you do it to yes click install sample data because it's going to be helpful in learning how to work with Joomla. Now the load migration script is if you are trying to, um, it says here the migration script needs to be created on the old site if you're trying to migrate from an older version of Joomla to a newer version of Joomla to 1.5 let's say from an older version like 1.0 okay now 1.0 is is quite old and is not recommended to be used anymore and since we're not migrating from an older version of Joomla to 1.5 we don't need to do this so we can skip that and we'll hit next and now you finished great congratulations Joomla is now installed but in bright red letters please remember to completely remove the installation directory because it has to be removed before you can continue. So what we need to do is go into our directory. I'll go to the, this is once again our web directory for our web server. I'm going to go into the folder for our Joomla 1.5 site, site 1. And you'll see that out of all these folders, there's a folder called installation. You're going to highlight that installation directory. And I'm just going to hold down the shift key and press delete and that will delete the folder completely. Once it's completely deleted, you can continue on to the website or to the administrative back end of the website. We'll go to the website, and there it is. There is the install for a base install for Joomla with the sample files populating the page. So all of this is the sample data that we installed sample menus with sample links that work and this is helpful to have this here because it can help you learning about Joomla but everything we're doing right now is in the localhost site one folder and all of this data has been populated in our database so now if we go to our PHP my admin page right and go to the site 3 database or site 1 database rather you'll see that the Site1 database is now filled with tables and this is all of the content and all of the different areas and tables that are going to be used so the banner, the categories, right, all of this is what makes all of this stuff right in here and inside of the database in the Site1 database notice all the tables that are inside of it that were then populated that's what happened when we ran the installation script and all of this data is also in that database all of this sample data so we've got the site we've got uh, Joomla 1.5 installed now we need to install Joomla 2.5 site and a WordPress site